Hey guys, today I'm going to show you basic Half-Life 2 stuff. Don't mind Tim in the background. Wait a second. So, for aviating or accelerated back hopping, what I suggest you do is open the console. To do that, go to Options, Keyboard, Advanced, and you toggle this. It's supposed to be checked. Click OK, hit Apply, OK, and then you press your tilde key in between Escape and Tab, and it brings up your console. Um, you can bind yeah. the mouse wheel up and down to weapon select. Um, you want to bind something else to it if you're going to do that. Because you still need to be able to select your weapons. But, um, yes, yes. so we'll do bind, M wheel, up, and then you can also do that for down. And then you just enter that in, and then to, to save those settings, you would go to Options and hit Apply. Now your mouse wheel is jump up and down. Let's do that. Oh, I did not mean to go with the reloading screen. Let's go to a different map where it'll be easier to actually show this. Let's do let's do this one. So, you can sprint backwards, jump, let go of all your keys, hold control, and then you start spamming the mouse wheel. Or, the more complicated and best way to do it is like this. So you hold shift, walk forward, jump, while you're mid-air, do a 180. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be close, so get it as best as you can. Hold control and then just start spamming the space bar, or you can use the mouse wheel line. And if, if you get it right, it should look like this. And if you hit anything that is um, angled, then you'll fly. Let's see. Let's do sand traps now. It's, uh, it's actually really hard to do at first, but eventually you do get the hang of it. You can sort of be hot, but also not really. Just kind of spam your jump bind. Just roll the mouse wheel, I guess. You can strafe back and forth. Sometimes uh, crouch jumping is faster for some reason. Crouch jump to initiate a uh, aviating. As you can see, I'm not very good at it. Another reason why you would want to bind it to your uh, your mouse wheel is because if you look where you look, it it moves you. Hello. I'm in a Discord. Discussion. You can also use damage, which push it pushes you to uh, initiate the hop, such as the ant lions or fast zombies. You can also die from fall damage very, very quickly and easily. So you gotta be careful. Or not. Major fracture detected. Automatic medical systems. <laughs> um, let's see. Another cool thing you can do is you can reflect crossbow bolts. As you can see, they stab into the ground, but if you shoot the ground at just the right angle, they'll deflect off. 
You can also bounce them off of the walls and actually bounce them off of any surface. So you can do cool things like this and actually hit a shot. Or you know, you can just shoot the ground. That works too. It's part of why the crossbow is so overpowered. You don't even have to directly hit something you can just to do that. And that spawn command, so. I actually did type it wrong, but I left it like that for nostalgia purposes. It's. You can either do MPC underscore create. And then you type the name of whatever it is, or you can do int underscore create. There we go. And then npc underscore create, hit space, npc underscore head crab. If you time a crouch just right, you can dodge as you used to could. Maybe they've changed that. Um, you can also spawn any NPC, and most NPCs, if not all of them, it because when you're typing this in, it's actually not just called a head crab, it's called NPC underscore head crab. And now why that is, I don't know, but that's just how they chose to name it. The console reads from a uh, code from the game and stuff. Let's see. Another useful thing that you can do that I've often been using, as you can see I'm getting ammo. There's no ammo on the ground. It's a command it's just give current ammo. What I did is bind mouse four since I have a gaming mouse. Mouse 4 and mouse 5 are those keys on your side. Give current ammo. Um, now sometimes it will not work. Now if that happens, you will type in the double line thingy. Double quotes. You don't do two double quotes. You press the double quote key. Um, before your command, so, um, bind V, space, double quote, no clip. This works for, um, it helps with longer commands and stuff too. Some games you actually have to do that when using the console. This game, you don't have to do it for all of them, but for some commands you do. So it would probably be best if you just do it for all of them. Another useful command is cl underscore show p um, pos. Press space and then you enter a value. Zero is none, and then one enables it. And actually, um, with all of these commands, including cheats, you can put a higher value than one. Like I can put four, and it will just be on. Can I put a negative value? Actually, I never tried that. Let's try negative one. You actually can, it just disables it though. And then I bound backspace to do it, so you, that's your velocity in the corner, right here. This bottom value right here. It tells you how fast you're going in hammer units.
the combat soldier. I am somehow still alive. What the hell is a little ladder? Never seen that happen before. It's weird. So apparently, if you try to go down this ladder that way, it doesn't let you. Never mind, it does. Also spawn health. And if you type bind space and then a key, it shows you what is bound to that key. So you see I just have bound to this and then that one's for suit batteries. Go away. You can also fly with any item that you can hold. If you put it against a wall, and I recommend that you do a flat wall. See, this has a little nudge, so it would be harder to do it. See, this wall doesn't really have anything right here. So, you stand on it, and you spam E and jump. Sometimes pressing and holding W can also help. And so if you're looking in a direction, see if I look slightly off to the left, then I'll float off to the left, so you want to get it straight. It's actually not easy to do, it's very hard to do, but the more you practice it, the better you, you get at it, as it goes for everything else. Also, uh, grenade jumping as a damage pushes you. Not while you were not jumping, though. Some will, but see if I jump. Um, you TF2 players out there may recognize, you know, rocket jumping. Actually, can do that in Half Life 2. It can also kill you. If you do not have a lot of health. And holding crouch does indeed help with increasing momentum. That's not just a TF2 or Half-Life 2 thing, that applies to all Source games as far as I know. Rocket jumping obviously doesn't work as well in Half-Life 2. Try grenade jumping. can just, you know, not get up there at all. If you have any video suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments. Major fracture detected. So whenever you hit an angled surface, you go flying, as I just did there. Also steer yourself. The jump bind is also useful for climbing uh, surfaces that are at an extreme angle. Or just climbing faster because when you spam jump, you, uh, you travel upwards faster.
Yeah, you have to be careful because it's really easy to die from full damage in this game. supposed to be able to get up here but apparently you can't can also fly without why is there a lambda symbol up here it's rather odd Try flying. You stand on an object, you walk forward and spam jump and use. It's actually really hard to do. I used it to uh, get the achievement keep off the sand. Technically it's not cheating as you do not need to enable cheats for it to work. And anything that does not require cheats is not considered cheating. Sort of did it there, but it also. Barrels usually work. It's like delaying my grab and the speed for some reason. Usually, the larger an object is, the easier it is to pull off. with the uh with the pallet i don't think there's one on this map a lot of people would say it's a glitch if you ask me i'd say it's more of an exploit because it has to do with how the uh, source engine works. Um, 
Can't really think of anything else to teach you for now. So I'll just play the game, I guess. Nah, we'll end the video here. Hope it was, uh, useful. Bye.